Hi everyone. It's been a long time ago that people learned how to build big and complex mechanisms. Most of them can be put together and dismount special equipment and foundry, so they need to be transported. In these cases, transportations become quite challenging special operations involving tow trucks and professional teams. So, here are the seven biggest carriages ever transported by men. Let's go. And then landed in the LA International Airport, in the back part of a Boeing 747, especially adapted for the case. Then, with an unusually small speed, it traveled on the well-planned route through the streets. 400 trees had to be cut, several power lines had to be turned off so that the 78-ton vehicle could pass. The trip took two days and 12 miles, and the shuttle arrived to the California Science. The magnet was transported using a specially equipped truck and 45-ton metal apparatus. The shipping cost $25 million, and it was complicated and a delicate operation, in which participated several groups of scientists from all over the quiet efforts of a group of 70 workers. The transporting was realized thanks to 12 systems on track chains with electric drive. 7 million cubic feet of mud and gravel had to be leveled out, so the trip would be smooth. Besides, in some parts of the track, they had to plant grass so the vehicle would go even more smoothly. The eight wheels, each one with its one autonomous hydraulic system to keep upright position on the 30-mile winding mountain road. Harriet Gas Turbine Harriet is the biggest gas turbine. It weighs as much as a fully loaded Boeing 747. In combination with a steam turbine, it can produce enough energy to power 600,000 houses in France. The turbine had a long 205-mile way from the factory in Belfort to its new home on the power plant. The transportation was divided in different stages, and it was just like the Tour de France when people got into a line all along the road to see the huge 800-ton turbine of the size of a football field. The entire convoy was 358 feet long and 22 feet wide. The center stretcher, which carries the 400-ton turbine, rolls on two tow platforms, each with 14 rows of triple tire axles. The team checked every curve in the road and built digital models of bridges and bypasses to make sure the convoy could ride over them. Nuclear Reactor a Saudi company had to transport a 1,048-ton reactor 683 miles on steep desert hills and narrow winding roads. It was carried on two hydraulic trailers and 10 prime movers. Each hill was a mission, going up with six trucks in front of the load and four behind, switching to six behind and four in front of the crack. Troll A platform is the highest transportable construction ever built. It's almost 300 feet high, but it's mostly underwater. The platform holds the record for the heaviest object ever transported on water from construction site to installation position. The 50 million ton construction traveled from the shore to the destination, 50 miles away from the city of Bergen in Norway. In order to perform that, the water line was fixed in the center of gravity of the platform with air tanks so that one of its half was underwater and the other on the surface. Ten powerful toes move the structure to the destination at a speed of one knot, which is 1.15 miles per hour, and it took five days. Once it arrived, the platform was buried 120 feet deep. Long distance transporting over 2,000 tons of cargo will be possible with a single truck ahead and another one in the end. Mamoet Company began developing new heavy transport called Trailer Helper. Using these tugs with hydraulic drive reduces to one the amount of trucks needed for traction and direction. With the help of this trailer, the speed will increase at least five times. Besides, it requires only one driver to manage the whole system, which practically excludes mistakes in coordination.